happy vlogmas day six. We are running around the house kind of crazy this morning. Lots of light changing because we are going to have a meeting at Panera. We're talking about new products and expanding Oh Hello even farther. And so we have to like actually talk about it. And I find that if we're at the house, we tend to be very distracted. So we're gonna go to Panera and have a like official business meeting and talk about new ideas. It's gonna go along the lines of those planner cases we came out with. That sort of thing. Just a little teaser spoiler for you. We've arrived at the Panera and we're waiting for food and then we're gonna have this business meeting. And it's gonna be super cool because if it turns out well, we might have a bunch of new products. Or we might think we have a bunch of new products and then no one buys them and it's a terrible waste of money. Hashtag owning your own business. <laughs> uh, I told them that it's gonna be very similar to planner cases. If that gives them an idea. Right. We would have planner cases like full time. Full time. But we might see part of this is that if we buy the equipment to make this stuff, we can actually do custom stuff. So we might even be able to do like pencil cases and things like that that are a little beyond what other companies Our can do. Is coming. Oh yeah. This is the lunch slash breakfast of champions right here. Look at it. You know it. Look at him dip. Look at that damage. Someone's hungry. Right to eating. Food demolished. Let's get to work. So we just finished our meeting and we're headed home. Lots of changes. It's always something new with us. We did a pro con list. And it and then, It was even. And then we weighted each item on the pro con list as the importance. Yeah, out of one through five, we gave it a point value of importance and it was negative 15 con, 15 pro. So, so it balanced literally out. literally did not help. It didn't help at all. So we have a meeting with our accountant tomorrow, which I think will help us give us a better sense of where we're at all the boring behind the scenes oh hello stuff you know business stuff it's never just making stickers in your house it's not it's just not what it is there's so much involved there's so many like taxes and talking to the government about things that they don't tell you you're supposed to tell them about it's confusing there the way you start a business is not help like there's no one to help you unless yeah. you pay them so but when you're starting this... off you have no money so you can't like pay a consultant or pay people to tell you how to run your business because you literally and I went to school started for it. it. It's, it's absurd. And it's like, I didn't know that if you have one employee, you have to have workers comp. You have to pay a It never even order. occurred to me and nobody ever we even mentioned it. We work from our basement it. together. It doesn't make any sense. It's just so confusing. It's very confusing. And like that one, you can go to jail. Yeah, 30 days for every day. You don't have it that you have an employee. Like you could be to jail for life because you didn't have this one thing that no one told you you were supposed to have. Yeah, there's no welcome packet. Yeah, you don't get a packet like in school. You don't get a syllabus of how you're supposed to pass this course. Like when getting an employee. It's absurd. Yeah. It's absurd. So we have a meeting with our accountant tomorrow that'll help us decide like 100% if we're gonna try doing a lot of this stuff on our own, but I'm pretty sure we will because risks and rewards, you know? Yeah. But it was a nice little meeting to get out of the house, have some food. But those of you who do buy from us, here's the issue that we're really facing. So like, let's say we get into mugs, let's say we get into sock subscriptions and all this other stuff. Is it too much on one website? Like is Oh Hello just getting too big and we need like a socksubscription.com or uh, you know, mug, mug, mean mugging .com. Yeah, like we don't know if we're supposed to have micro sites or if it all can go under Oh Hello. Is it okay, yeah. Cause like if people are coming to our site right now because they saw a Google search for mugs but they may see stickers, is that deterring them? It's just really hard to figure this out. Yeah. This is what we do during the week. So what do you guys think? Would it be better that we split everything or is it, should we try and keep it on one side? I feel mostly like the people that watch us want it on one side because the popular ones. True. So they want, the people who watch are more active in, in, in what we do rather than one-stop shoppers looking for socks kind of thing. So it's, it's hard and we deal with this every day. Glamorous. So if you're ever like, ooh, I want to start my own small business, it's not all it's cracked up to be. Like once you actually get people buying from you, there's so much more you gotta, like, obtaining people is hard enough, 
like getting them and then keeping them is either harder, but then customers. finding even more. I think here's the, the biggest issue about running a home business, and this is something that I got taught very young, uh, was that I wanted to be a photographer. And the guys who I talked to who were photographers always kept saying, if you want to be a photographer, don't start a photography company. And I was like, well, why? Because then I can do it all the time. I get paid to do what I love. That's not true. Unless you love doing business, which luckily I do, but I also have other things, so it kind of weighs out. Unless you love doing business, that's eventually, if you get successful, it's what mostly, you'll be doing. It's mostly business with, dealing with clients, some fun dealing stuff with thrown in. Where do you pay for this? How do you pay like for that? Like my absolute favorite, favorite parts about Oh Hello make us no money. Like at all. Like I love designing Blobby, so he's probably the only thing that actually makes us money. But like our videos do not make us money. Yeah. I know you think that like YouTubers make tons of tons of money. I'm not one of them. I yeah. make like no money at all. Definitely not worth like a nice meal every month. Yeah, like every month I get to eat out once. So that's probably my favorite part and it doesn't make as much money and we've talked for four minutes. But so. see, like that's the thing is we don't want it to be about money, but it has to be We about have to money. live our life because if we don't, we can't keep doing this and then it all stops. Then we have to go get jobs, which nothing's wrong with a job. I, yeah, but, but it's But it, it's like, a drastic change and then can we afford this lifestyle? Who the, knows? The worries, the worries guys. But we are five minutes into this clip so we're gonna stop talking. We're on our way home to do more work. Hustle, hustle hard. Or die trying. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. now about two and I finished filming two videos one of which is already up and the second one will be up when this video is up both of which have giveaways so if you want to go enter a giveaway to win a greeting card subscription or some stickers I will leave links to those giveaways in the description of this video but I got a package from Urban Decay that I wanted to show you guys so this is like their tis the season party stuff so it has the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray, which is the spray that I use like every single day, even when I'm wearing like almost no makeup. I just love how refreshing it makes my skin feel. So I'm super jazzed to have another one of those. And I've never tried the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara, so I'm always down to try mascara. Then there's the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion, which I've never actually tried. Is that weird? I feel like that's weird that I am really into makeup and have never given that a go. So I'm excited about that too. Then there's this little Moon Dust Eyeshadow in this really pretty green that I definitely have to give a try. Plus this Vice lipstick in a shade that I have gotten probably four or five times. So I'll definitely be giving this away at some point. I'm gonna go through my makeup stash and create like giveaways and stuff of all of the like PR stuff that I've been sent. And then I also have this, which is just completely crazy. Let's try it over here and focus. So this is a heavy metal glitter liner in like the craziest shade ever. So I'm very curious about this. So that is my little Urban Decay haul. I can't wait to try out the new stuff and of course some of my favorites and be on the lookout for a giveaway probably in the next month or so of a lot of makeup bits. Oh hey guys. Hope you guys are having a jingle jangle vlogmas. Or a holly jolly day. I know I switched it but you know what up. I was like, good gracious ass bodacious. Looking for the right time to get machos. Machos. And Alex's great singing me skills. Me and the rest of my. <laughs> this is a normal occurrence in our house. My We're adding big. in some taco meat, and then Alex is gonna doctor up his side. It's gonna be tasty. We are getting so hot. We wanna take off.
closer. What is even happening? <laughs> right, what we have here is the ever patient oven water. Let's see him in his natural habitat. Look how he uses his phone as a distraction while watching the oven. This is the world's worst accent of my life. This, this is basically how accents go for Kayla. I'm not clay. It doesn't Don't give in the gossip. What else do you do on a Tuesday night? Walk around Target. Walk around Target. Walk around Target. And see if you can not buy things. It's not gonna work, but we're gonna try. It will. So if you guys have been watching us, Kayla decided to start a new channel, which she'll link below. Um, and it's for kids, and it's her opening up little toys and just uh, kind of talking about them. So I get to open up toys. So now she has an excuse to actually buy all the toys she wants, and she knows I won't say anything about it. It's brilliant. It is genius. So that's what we're doing here. And we're also buying some socks. To test out. Because uh, if we do decide to start sublimating, it will be on cheaper socks by buying them here than through a company online. Uh, surprisingly. So that's pretty cool. All right, guys. We just got home from running our errands. And I got a lot of really exciting blind bags I'm going to open. But I'll show you guys those in tomorrow's vlog before I open them. I'll show you what, like categories i got kind of like a sneak peek to those videos um so yeah we'll see you guys tomorrow bye bye thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe and like we love you i love you okay that's it